going on everybody i am back with another video now in today's video guys uh we are going to be doing the top 10 worst goosebumps episodes now one time we did do the top 10 best so i have decided today to do the top 10 worst and i am back from camp uh it was four full days without my parents uh uh, two of the days I came back, about half of the day I was with my parents, and half the day I wasn't. And so today I'm back, and I had a blast, <clears throat> and I got some uh, new Goosebumps books before I left. So I am willing to show you to you and do the ranking. <clears throat> now, some of you may disagree with me on some of my opinions, uh, so don't get mad in the uh, comments. And my voice is a little bit low, so bear with me here. Uh, but let me show you my new Goosebumps books. Hopefully you like them. And then let's get on to the top 10 worst. I know some of you may disagree with me, but it's just my opinion. Um, and once I start read, once i am gotten read a lot of Goosebumps books in the original series, hopefully I'll do a ranking on the top 10 best and worst. Right now, I haven't read a whole lot. I mean, not a lot to do a ranking uh, right now. <clears throat> but... Let's show you the books that I have got. And I'm not going to go to my shelf this time. I'm just going to show you to the, to you. So the first one, the first new book I got was uh, The Scream of the Haunted Mask. And it is in the Horrorland series. It is no, book number four in the Horrorland series. I, I didn't have this book before. I don't have a lot of Horrorland. Well, now I, I do because I've got a couple of them uh, lately. But uh, The Scream of the Haunted Mask. And I was really excited to get this book. And then I got number five in Horrorland, which is Dr. Maniac versus Robbie Schwartz. So I got number five in Horrorland as well, which was great. <coughs> Expanding my collection a little bit. <coughs> and then next up, I got the original movie novel from the first Goosebumps movie. I got the second movie, which was Haunted Halloween, but I didn't, unfortunately, get the first one, so now I do. I have the first Goosebumps movie novel, and it sponsors a bunch of stuff that they uh, gave out uh, during when they had this uh, book come out, and I got some of that stuff. So here is Goosebumps movie novel, and I got the first one. And then we got the Goosebumps Monster Survival Guide, which was one of the books that was on the back of this. Uh, very, very cool. I got this as well, and I'm very happy to have this. The Go Goosebumps Monster Survival Guide. And then we have Slappy's Revenge, which I was looking for uh, when ha Haunted Halloween came out. It kept talking about Slappy's Revenge, and I was like, I really want this. So I found Slappy's Revenge. And here it is. And then, last but not least, we have the Goosebumps Download and Die. This is a graphic novel for Goosebumps. Um, and I don't know, this came out about a year ago, it looks like. Judging by what I have seen. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, basically, you, you download this Slappy app, it looks like. And it's like really creepy and stuff. So... That is pretty cool as well. And I've never heard of this. So when I first saw this book, I was like, I got to get this. Because I've never, ever heard of a Goosebumps collector that had seen this. I'm sure Goosebumps Aussie fan has it. But he just I've just never seen a video where he introduced it to me. Uh, but yes, Goosebumps Download and Die. Very cool. So now let's get on to the ranking from the worst to best Goosebumps episodes. Now, some of the DVDs that I'll show you will look like I didn't like that episode, but it just has the episode in it. But if you want to get the complete collection, com collection of all the Goosebumps episodes and you don't want to buy all of them individually, you can get this one for, I believe, $60 um, on eBay. Now, the thing is about this is it is Region 2, so if you have a British DVD player, which is Region 2, uh, then you can uh, watch this. It's basically Europe uh, DVD <coughs> region. Otherwise, if you have two uh, game stations or PlayStations or whatever, uh, I have a PlayStation 3 and a PlayStation 4. I use my PlayStation 4 to watch Region 2 DVDs and my PlayStation 3 to watch Region 1. 
So, uh, if you would like to do switch your PS4 region to uh, region 2, which you can do that, just slide in this disc and it will ask you to change the region. You can only do it a couple of times, so if you have a PS3, you can just watch your other movies on there and you don't have to uh, watch all your movies on the PS4. I don't usually like doing that uh, because my PS4 is obviously a lot more valuable, but yes. If you, this is what it'll look like. It should be on eBay if you look up the Goosebumps complete episode collection. I'd have to look it back up if there are any more. So I'm very sorry if there's not any more. But uh, yeah, it has all four seasons. <clears throat> and yeah, but let's get on to the uh, ranking for the top 10 worst. So for the 10th worst for me, it's going to be Phantom out of the Auditorium, and I know this says Attack of the Meeting, but on the back it has Phantom of the Auditorium. Obviously, I can watch it on the complete uh, collection. Phantom Auditorium was definitely better than the other ones down on the list, because this is worst to best. <clears throat> this is a top ten. But for me, there's nothing truly scary about this episode. Uh, obviously, a lot, of, a lot of people have been saying that the book is really good, and I... If I read this, I might agree. Uh, but I've just never really seen how Phantom of the Auditorium was so scary. And it just never really had the best moments in it for me. The Phantom was really kind of dumb, in my opinion. Even if it was 90s CGI, I still thought he was kind of bad. And he wasn't as scary as other villains. Um, so Phantom of the Auditorium, it wasn't the worst episode. And it was okay. But it was definitely in my top 10 worst. <clears throat> uh, so for the next uh, worst episode, for me, it's going to be uh, Say Cheese and Die Again. Now, I know a lot of you could agree and some of you could disagree. But what made this one fall really down, and I know this says Say Cheese and Die, but on the back it has Say Cheese and Die Again. Um, <clears throat> for me, what really led this down was uh, that the characters had changed and I know so many people will say well you can't do anything about it because if it's too late it's too late they got to change the characters but I mean like what happened to uh, Greg in this I mean Greg turned into like this skinny tall kid to this like fat small kid and I don't know how like I'm not trying to be uh, mean or anything but like what happened here? Uh, why did they choose this actor? Um, so, yeah, for me, it was the actors that really, really changed, and they didn't really have the same personalities. And you didn't really get to see a lot of some of the characters. Um, like, I didn't see a lot of... Sarah, I think, is that her name? The girl who disappeared. I think it's Sarah. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a while since I've watched the episode or read the book. So yeah, this is, um, it's not the worst episode ever, but the character was just a big drop down in some of the actors that were newly introduced, like the teacher was really, really dumb, and that that's what really put this on number nine for the worst. <clears throat> so next up for me, I'm kind of, I have a lot of options here, I just have, uh, for number eight for me would be Monster Blood. I know a lot of you might disagree that Monster Blood was one of the worst episodes, some of you might even think it was the best, but I don't know, I never enjoyed watching Monster Blood. Every time I watch it, it was just, I never really liked the characters, um, you know, I really, I, I can't say much. Um, obviously, I've read the book, and it was really awesome. The original Monster Blood uh, from the 19, it should be 1992 is when they made the first Monster Blood. Um, but when the episode came out, um, which I wasn't born in the 90s, when, when the episode came out and I watched this, I just never really got a kick out of it. And it was just not really one of my favorite favorite and I never really bonded with the characters too much in this episode so I'm putting Monster Blood at number eight. So at number seven more Monster Blood. This one was even worse 
and it almost reminded me of Flight from The Haunting Hour, uh, but obviously it had a completely different theme. But this one was on an airplane, and they're moving. He's going back home apparently, uh, and the mon he took the monster blood with him. Uh, I just really didn't like this. Some of the characters. Uh, like the kids in the airplane were really really bad and i didn't like them very much so this one was just as worse because the setting was like always in the same place and it was really i really didn't like more monster blood as much as monster blood so that is number seven for me so number six has to be the ghost next door this wasn't a terrible episode, and I liked the book a lot better. I've read the book before. It's a lot better. Uh, so if you'd like to read the Ghost Next Door original series book, you can read it, definitely. It's really, really good. But the episode, on the other hand, I didn't like it very much. The person who plays the, apparently, Ghost Next Door, which you figure out that he's not the ghost, you figure out that uh, the girl, Hannah, is actually the ghost, um... He just didn't really play very well for me. Um, I thought he, like, even if he acted kind of strange and everything, he just wasn't the best character that I've seen in all the episodes, and I didn't like Hannah either. Uh, both of the characters, I just, if you have a bad character, it makes a really bad episode, so that's what really led me down for this one, and I never enjoyed it. It's kind of like Monster Blood, where I never really got a big kick out of it, so I'm really sorry if you disagree with me on the ghost next door i will say the book was really really good though so i mean if you like the book if you like the episode good then so yeah number six is the ghost next door for me number five has to be you can't scare me you can't scare me i've never read the book for this yet but the episode on the other hand really 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 bad i never seen how arl stein in the first hand would make a book about this and on the second hand make an episode i never really seen how the villain in this was you know too scary obviously back then it was scary um and even i've seen a lot of goosebumps characters and i will say some of them are really really good especially for the 90s but this one just wasn't really scary and he never really did anything uh scary in my opinion, um, he, he looked really weird, he was okay, but he only had, like, an appearance, I think, once or twice, and it was at the very, very ending, I mean, half the episode was the boys trying to scare the girl, and then you finally learn the backstory of uh, what happened and everything, so the villain wasn't shown a whole lot, and you can't scare me, he was just never really enjoyable for me i didn't like the characters at all once again if you have a bad character you have a bad episode and that's how it goes for me uh so yes i know this says return of the mummy but it says you can't scare me on the back so for me you can't scare me wasn't the best episode ever so that's number five number four for me has to be we have a couple of options here I'm going to go with an old story. Now, I know this says Perfect School, My Best Friend is Invisible, but there's a double DVD that comes with Perfect School and My Best Friend is Invisible, and it has an extra episode on My Best Friend is Invisible called An Old Story. Now, when I first watched this episode, I thought it was pretty good, and I thought it was uh, something cool that they added. I know that you can find an old story um in tales to give you goosebumps i'm pretty sure it's one of the tales on tales to give you goosebumps um and yeah i figured out that a lot of the episodes that i didn't think were books i figured out were just tales that were on tales to give you goosebumps and then they added them to episodes so i really really like to read the tales to give you goosebumps uh for an old story or even chillology or click like those other side episodes that were very popular but they were still pretty good uh tales for to give you goosebumps isn't as long as the full original series or like horror land or anything like that it's short little five chapter stories but they're still really really good and i thought those, those little uh tales were actually uh could compare to some of the actual originally original series books in my opinion an old story 
was okay, but I never really seen the big scary part of this, and I thought it did have a pretty cool, um, you know, like, theme, uh, like, main idea to it, but it was just never really scary, um, and then you had the same person who played the ant in Monster Blood, and I really didn't like this ant at all in Monster Blood or an old story, and she just never really played well for me. And an old story was okay, but then again, it was pretty bad. And this is why it's on number four. So, at number three, we're getting really down here now, is going to be The Girl Who Cried Monster. And I know this says Monster Blood, but it comes with four episodes. And the very last episode is The Girl Who Cried Monster. The Girl Who Cried Monster episode... I know a lot of people will say, oh, well, the book was really, really good, but the episode was a whole lot different, so I didn't like the episode at all, <clears throat> and this is where you're really, really getting bad, and I, like, even if I read the book, I probably wouldn't like it. The episode was really, really bad for me. I never enjoyed it. The ending was, wasn't one of the best twist endings, uh, even though it was a twist ending, it just wasn't one of my favorites. And I didn't like the librarian. I didn't like the idea of this. Uh, but if I read the book, maybe I'll agree that the book is good. But I just never liked the episode for The Girl Who Cried Monster. So don't even try to convince me with that. So we're really getting down to some of the worst episodes. So the second worst for me has to be How to Kill a Monster. How to Kill a Monster, once again, was not enjoyable, not scary for me. Um, the characters didn't like them. It just it just gets even worse when you get to How to Kill a Monster. Um, I've watched this episode a few times, and I just never enjoyed it. Um, so I, maybe if I read the book, I'll like it. I have a couple of the books that I can probably read of How to Kill a Monster. Um, a couple of extra copies that I can probably read. Uh, but the episode, on the other hand, just even as worse as the last ones, as I said. The very worst episode, in my opinion, is my hairiest adventure. Um, and I know this says the Bob edited everyone, but on the back, it says my hairiest adventure. And it is one of the additional episodes to this DVD. Oh my gosh. When I watched this episode, it was just, I don't know. There was something about this episode that I don't get why Arl Stein really, really did it. It was all about, like, body hair and things like that. And it was just it was really weird to watch some of the parts and all that. So, I didn't like My Harriest Adventure. It was never scary. The ending was pretty weird. Um, where they all turn into dogs. I know the book was really hated as well. I just never, ever liked My Hairiest Adventure, and I don't think I want to watch it again. Um, so it was a pretty bad episode. So what do you guys think about my, uh, opinion? So I'm going to look back up and see if there are any more. Uh, if there are, I'll probably comment down below and tell you if there is in the comic set, comment section. I got this uh, piece for $60, which isn't that bad, in my opinion. Uh, most complete sets of episodes are pretty expensive, hun about 100 or so dollars. Uh, like, if you get the 60s Batman series complete, it's pretty expensive. And this was only 60 bucks for, gosh, how who knows how many episodes Goosebumps made. Uh, and they, were, they all had... You know, there are unique aspects to them, but some of them were really bad, and that's what led them down to this list. So what do you guys think about my opinion? What do you think about my new books? Like and subscribe, guys, and I will see you in the next video.